Nate. How's it going, everybody? I'm some guy named Nate, and we're at a beach for a vacation. All I ever wanted vacation had to get away to the beach. This is a Nurse Love Addiction part. I don't know. I lost track. We're recording one more episode today before I play rock band for fun and get ready for work. And then... We've arrived! Ta-da! We're at the sea, baby. There's so much sea. I could be mistaken for nothing else. I can't stop my heart from dancing. Yeah. Let's find ourselves a spot. Borrow a beach parasol and then go change. All right. Here we everybody. Asuka and I will borrow the parasol. Come on, sis. Let's go. Aye, aye, now. Who lives in a pineapple under a pineapple under a pineapple under a pineapple? And so we find ourselves at a spot. We find ourselves a spot. I'm sorry. Here we go. There's our umbrella right there. It's the sea. There's my bathing suit, everybody. It's so orange. And you can see my tummy. Look at me. I'm the first to leap out of the changing room, I shout with delight. <laughs> the soles of my feet are hot. It tickles. The smell of the ocean and the burning sand. I discard my homework filled days. Even the lazy jellyfish who swims in the small sea inside me appears to be ecstatic today. This is freedom. With my boobs hanging out, this isn't a dream, is it? I feel such emotion rising within me. I mean, come on. I'm free. Freedom is mine. Look at me. I admit, I'm in high spirits. I must have been holding back a lot of stress from studying. Yes, I've worked hard. I really have. As I start to feel emotional at my own efforts, here she is. Oh, nice pants. You really are going all out, dummy girl. Just be careful not to trip. As Itsuki appears. Whoa, you've got a great... Whoa, you've got a great body. I catch a glimpse of her and the words tumble honestly from my lips. The smooth and graceful line of her body, yet she has curves as well. And although it may sound like a cliche, she looks like a model. I wonder if she works out. She looks awesome. I have no choice but to admit it. You're an attractive woman. Yeah, I know. I guess I'm just really a klutz here. So you admit it, huh? You're pretty cute yourself, dummy girl. Hooray. Haha, <laughs> not at all. Thank you. Thank you. I blush a little. I blush a little. Alright, so now's, now's wearing a one piece, and it kind of looks like it's the same cloth as mine, just full body. Sis, next now appears. Sis, you look adorable. That bathing suit looks really good on you. This is so weird. Come on. You look a lot better now. Look at you. Look at you in your yellow bathing suit. Yes, undeniably better. I had known about how pretty Nao was from before, but seeing her at the beach in a bathing suit like this, she's so pretty. It makes me want to grab her in tight embrace. I feel the pride of an elder sister. Oh, it makes me so happy to see you grown up into such a lovely girl. Now I sound like a creepy dad. Come on, sis. You sound like a... There you go. You sound like a father about to walk his daughter down the aisle. Hot. And then... There she is, everybody. You all sound in high spirits. Not that I don't know how you feel. Look at my boobs. The headliner, Miss Aguya, appears. Yes. First of, first of all, her boobs are amazing. That's good dialogue for ya. Yes, first of all, her boobs are amazing. I had known this already, but her aura of greatness extends to her chest as well. Looks of awe are plastered to mine and now's faces. Whoa! We say in unison. Honestly. And she is, but perhaps now that she's in a bathing suit, regardless of her staring, she holds her head high. Wow! A well-bred girl, distinguished, beautiful, and... She even has big boobs. Exactly how many attractive qualities does she have, says the dialogue box, and not me being creepy. You're gorgeous, Miss Sakuya. Thank you. I'll humbly accept your compliment. You look great yourself, Asuka. Hooray, we're all pretty lesbians hanging out on a beach. Nothing weird about this. Ah, uh, you're making me blush. Ha 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 ha. I had been worth going to... Uh, it had been worth going to buy a bathing suit yesterday. I am certain this today will be a wonderful, fun day. I flap my shining wings of freedom. And I flap something else. There are so many things I want to do. Like everyone here. Of course, swimming, but beach volleyball sounds good too. Oh, I also want to split a watermelon. Oh, 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 and... Don't underestimate me. It's all been planned. Here I go. You're the best. And for lunch, I want to eat the not very tasty fried noodles. 
They're always ser they're served by at the beach huts. Okay. I didn't know. Is that a thing in Japan? Are there like crappy beach huts that sell yucky noodles? Is that a thing? Itsuki mentioned that as well. Yes, yucky noodles for everybody. Something about being the essential that fried noodles at the beach huts contain slightly uncooked cabbage core. <laughs> you know, apparently it's summer tradition, Miss Sakuya. Go summer. Tradition, I see. Then I'd like to eat it as well. This soundtrack's bumping. Listen to it. Yeah. Bump that. Miss Sakuya nods thoughtfully. All right then. Let's head out for a swim. But before that... Warm-up stretches? Uh-oh. That's important too, but... You know... What is it, Mizutsuki? You know, there's another summer tradition we shouldn't forget about. Peeing on each other. Mm -hmm. The contest where Dummy Girl decides who she thinks looks best in their swimsuit. No! No, 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 I don't want to pick. Huh? No, that sounds so unfair. These are the kind of uh, things happen to me often, actually. Why me? Well, you complimented everyone on their swimsuits equally. I think you're most fit for this position. Actually, I'm a little interested to hear as well. Damn it. Now! It's a summer tradition that it can't be helped. What? Even you, Miss Sakuya? All right. Well, in favor, don't worry. I won't say anything even if you did choose my girlfriend. Huh? At least not today. It's all in good fun. Seriously, though. Seriously, though. I mean, don't all three of them look lovely, don't they? I cry out to the blue sky. It's a cruel job, but I have to choose between the three. Can everyone be a winner? You know, a pressure-free competition. Tee-hee-hee. <laughs> Stabbing glares, I guess not. I thought this was all in good fun. Great. Come on, choose your path and raise your... Wait. Come on, choose your path and raise your friendship rating. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by path or and friendship rating. Uh, with nowhere to run, I think and think. Um, alright, well, um... Oh my god, I could be a bitch and say I look the best. Oh my god, I'm gonna say Itsuki because I love her the most, but I could be a bitch and say me, but Itsuki. There you go. Sexual violence. You have earned a trophy. I choose Miss Itsuki. Wait, was there going to be different Chivos for picking each girl? I think that was it. I choose Miss Itsuki. Miss Itsuki seems surprised at having been chosen. <clears throat> well, that was unexpected. I see. Thanks. Well, there you go. Sis, you're actually choosing seriously? Yeah, the fact that you chose Itsuki means you're dead serious. No playfulness whatsoever. What? Totally. It would have been safer for you to choose your younger sister. Or Sakuya. Huh? Really? But I like you the most. I mean, of course you were choosing seriously. You choose me. You choose Mrs. Suki. I'm no match for her. No, you're all beautiful. She's right. There's nothing we can say in our defense. You're no fun. Well, that's pretty harsh, I mean. I see, I see. I guess you've fallen prey to my sexual lure, dummy girl. I haven't. I, I just made a fair judgment. No fair judgment. I knew it. You're totally serious. Totally serious. Oh, so I guess you seriously chose me. Oh. I take it back. I'll choose again. Meh. It appears too late. Oh, dear. Okay. I guess that's fine. Whenever I come to the sea, I think of jellyfish. A long time ago, I came to the sea with my grandma. We watched a jellyfish we had caught in a plastic bag, and she taught me as she laughed. Jellyfish are made of over 90% water. In some ways, they're like a tiny, tiny part of the sea. Jellyfish, the envoys of their mother, the sea. It sounds cool when you put it like that. But my grandma told me something even more important. Apparently, the jellyfish have no brains. Interesting. Ooh. Damn. I wanted to smooch. I didn't want to make everyone mad at me. Swoosh, crash. I'm standing on the beach. It's the sea. Swoosh, crash, the sound of the waves seemed to be calling to me. Swoosh, crash, the never-ending, continuous voice of the sea. Oh, it's the same as my dream, although this time I'm wearing my bathing suit properly. Swoosh, crash. I gaze on the distant horizon, I listen to the sound of calling waves. That's right, in my dream, after this. Jummy girl. Oh, so whatever uh, person you picked at the beach is who was calling your name. I think that's it, I hear a voice behind me. Uh-huh. Call, I turn around. 
Oh man, there she is. Mitsutsugi stands in the parasol. She seems to be checking the various things we brought. Mitsutsugi nudges her finger towards my head. By the way, what happened to your goggles? Goggles? Do you remember? Before I went to the changing room, you had them on your head, and you said, I also bought a new pair of these. Oh, thinking of going to the Swan Swimming Spree, I had bought a pair of pink swimming goggles along with my swimsuit. I had taken them off when I was changing. <laughs> Damn it, I belched. They're in the changing room. Thanks, I'll go get them. Be careful. Don't follow strangers just because they offer sweets. Of, of course I won't. I don't like pedophiles. Get out of here. Who actually tries to pick someone up like that? Okay. Here I am with my goggles. Swimsuit girl A. Hey girl, you want some sweets? Why don't you come play with us? Hey, I want it. We have all sorts of sweets. Mmm, we got Twinkies and Malamars and uh, Ding Dongs and Fleetle Deedles and Crunchy Dingies. What? They actually tried that. I'm surrounded by three gaudy looking ladies. All milf-tastic. No, um, I... We thought we'd t talk to you because you look so cute. What kind of sweets do you like? Um, strawberry milk and stuff. Oh, oh, we have those. I like them too. Now come follow us. No, I'm not just going to go... I'm just going to get something I forgot. I see. Then we'll go get them with you. And then afterwards... Oh, your swimsuit is adorable. How does the top part work? Hey, stop it. Please don't touch me. You're tickling me eek. Uh-oh, I'm getting raped by ladies. Why are they touching me so casually? Is this normal these days? Help. Squeak. There you go. What are you doing to me, girl? After I went out of my way to warn you. Oh, Miss Itsuki. Hey, who are you? Sorry, we're in the middle of something here? Seriously, no one called you. Oh, but I also kind of like her as well. Oof. Huh? I know she looks a little stupid, but she happens to be my girl. What? A wooga? Your girl? Yuck, you stop trying to take advantage of her with sweets just because she looks stupid? And Suzuki smiles, a polished smile. What do you mean I'm your girl? And what do you mean I look stupid? It's all a performance. People like these. You've got to show them who's boss. You seriously almost went along with them, stupid. Huh? What are you whispering about? Nothing. I'm getting on her case for being an idiot when I come to the beach together, right? Um, yes? Something shady's going on. Is she really your girlfriend? You're just friends, aren't you? Then why don't you come along with us, glasses girl? You're pretty fine yourself. Snap time for a uh, MILF orgy. Yeah, come on. This is so weird. Huh? Seriously, we're trying to have a romantic time. Seriously, we're trying to have a romantic time. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Stop bothering us. Come on. Izuzuki takes my hand and tries to lead me away. Hey, wait. Eek. What? You still won't leave us alone? Wait, you still won't leave us alone? I'm sorry. If you two really are a couple, but there's something shady going on, isn't there? Totally. Uh, uh um... Honestly, what? Would you take you to convince wait, would it would it convince you if we kissed here? Huh? Oh, that's good. That shouldn't be a problem for you if you really are a couple. Uh-oh. Wait, Mizitsuki. Oh, time for a smooch. Huh. We're not some kind of spectacle, but fine. Huh? Yay, Mizitsuki turns to face me again. Wait, Mizitsuki, are you serious? Regardless of the fact we're doing to make these ladies go away. Forget about me for a second, Mrs. Suki and Mrs. Kuya. I mean, it's not like I'm I'm okay with this either. Come here. Mrs. Suki's fingers catches my chin and raises it up. She used She's used to this. Uh-oh. Well, it's not like you'll lose anything by this. Just pretend you're being bitten by a moray eel. What is that supposed to mean? A moray eel? I can't imagine that. I refuse to. Mrs. Suki's face draws closer to mine as if it were the most natural thing in the world. On the lips, I can't move. Jummy girl. I know she's just gonna pretend. It's all pretend. She'll probably stop right before, just on the verge. It's one of Miss Itsuki's spectacles, isn't it? Uh, a kiss that isn't what it seems. It's not what it seems. Her usual line. You're not going to actually do it right. I totally am. Oh no. Oh, time for the smooch of the century. From that, from that title sequence. 
Oh no! All those girls are cute though, I want a candy! <laughs> I stiffen. My mind has gone blank. The ladies cry out voices that sound both like cheers and shrieks, but I can't hear what they're saying at all. I'm almost unable to push Miss Itsuki aside. It's is this. Swoosh crash, the sound of the waves reach my ears. I remain dazed, my eyes around with surprise. D -d Damn it! Damn it! The ladies run off bitterly, and then... And then what? <laughs> oh, she was pranking me. Damn it! Oh, Jummy Girl! The look on your face! It was priceless! Putting her, Pulling her face away, Miss Suzuki bursts out laughing. My whole body is shaking. Jummy Girl! You kiss with your eyes open? That's not a good habit! My whole body is still shaking. Oh man, guys, we extended this episode a little bit. What the hell? You took me by surprise on the next installment. We're gonna save... She's still complaining. I'm gonna save over slot two, the seal. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying my progress I'm making on Nurse Love Addiction. If you're enjoying this so far, let me know. If you would have made different choices, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next. She kissed me, but it wasn't real. But she's funny, but she's mean. But I want her.